Hey guys, and welcome to another tutorial for Freshly Squeezed Samples. This is your host, John Grant, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to sound design arpeggios in Serum. Now, I'm gonna preface this by saying that Serum does not have a built-in arpeggiator. This means that creating arps in Serum is quite difficult and you would have to use the LFO tool. But the problem with this is that you're gonna to have to do a lot of manual edits to this little grid here, such as an example like this, and this can take you a long time to create arpeggios. Just to show you what an example would sound like, check this out. As you can see, it is quite cumbersome to create arpeggios in Serum. So the workaround for this is to use the Ableton built-in arpeggiator, which I personally really like a lot. So let's go ahead and import a MIDI pattern. And I am going to use a MIDI pattern from one of the sample packs that we have from Dave Parkinson. So let's go ahead and open that up. Um, and the one that we're going to be using is the Dave Parkinson progressive and let's just go ahead and pull in a pad loop like this. So on its face, this pad loop is pretty simple, nothing too crazy going on. Let me just go ahead and initialize the preset and let's listen to what this pad loop sounds like. Pretty simple, nothing too crazy. Let's go ahead and make uh, this pad sound a little bit more interesting with some simple sound design. All right, so that's a good starting point for what we're gonna do next. Let's go ahead and go into the Ableton Arpeggiator. Now, I just wanna point out as well that if you do have a DAW that has a MIDI Arpeggiator, I'd highly recommend using that. I know FL Studio has one. I know that uh, I think Logic, uh, Cubase has one. So this is applicable across DAWs. So I'm gonna just select this simple up and down pattern and I'm gonna set it to 16th notes. So let's go ahead and get that there and see what it sounds like. So there you have it. That's a really simple way of creating a very simple arpeggiator with uh, Serum and using Ableton Live. Let's go ahead and sound design this arpeggio a little bit more so that we get a nice trancey kind of vibe to it or progressive house vibe. Let's go ahead and try a different MIDI pattern. Now, one of the cool things about the Ableton Arpeggiator is that you're able to record the incoming MIDI. So how would we do this? Well, we would go here and select the instance of where your Serum uh, pattern is being triggered and you would just simply click record. Let's see what happens. So 
So that's pretty cool. We have the first pattern that we can use. Let's say, for instance, I want to change this pattern up a little bit to something different. Let's try Converge and see what happens when I click on that. I really dig that pattern. Let's go ahead and record it using the same technique. Super cool. Let's go ahead and do one more pattern just for the heck of it. And this time I'm going to select a chord triggering pattern. And what this is gonna do is instead of doing a traditional arpeggio, it's going to actually create uh, notes for me. And I can select whether I want them to be eighths or if I want them to be uh, 16ths. So let's go ahead and listen to what a 16th pattern sounds like. <music> And as you can see, as I turn the gate up and down, the more of the sound is either released or cut back. Now, one cool thing that you may not know is that you can actually record the automation of that gate opening up into MIDI notes. So let's say I wanted to start off like this and go high. Let's see what happens when I record that. So that's really interesting. What it's done is it's recorded all of the notes, but it started off with the gating automation. And then as the automation goes higher and higher, the notes start opening up, and then you end up with a pattern that is a lot more open. This is really useful because a lot of times we're doing this with the cutoff filters on sense. But in this instance, if you just wanted to record the MIDI that way, you can do it. And it's a really simple way to create some interesting patterns using the arpeggiator. Let's go ahead and record a different pattern. And this time, let's try, instead of a chord trigger, let's try the thumb up and see what happens when I select that one. Let me actually turn off the gate automation since we don't need that for this video. So that's a pretty unique pattern as well. So let's go ahead and record that. That's very unique and very cool. One of the cool things about that specific one that we just did, the thumb up, is that from this pattern, you can easily get the bass notes if you wanted to from a MIDI. So let's just go ahead and copy these bass notes and let's transpose them into a bass patch and let's see what happens. So those should be the bass notes. There's a couple of stray notes that I'm taking out. And let's just go ahead and load in a simple bass preset from Serum. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick one of these from this guy and see what happens. Looks like a few of those notes are off, so let's just go ahead and fix that real quick. And since I don't really care for the octave, I'm just gonna put them all like this. Cool. 
let's go ahead and add some serums to these other clips that I did. And let's just layer some sounds together just to kind of get a feel for what's happening with the other MIDI notes. So that came out really cool. And that was literally just using the arpeggiator to record the, 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 the pad pattern that we had and then convert that into MIDI. And you end up with some really interesting results when that happens. And there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to make. I showed you today how to create arpeggios using Serum and the Ableton built-in arpeggiator, how to record those MIDI notes, and then how to uh, extract basses if you want from them and so forth. Let me know if you like this video and don't forget to leave a like in the comment and I will see you next time.